Are you tired of arena breakout? Infinite crashing right in the middle of a match? Or maybe it won't even launch from the launcher? Don't worry, you're not alone. Thousands of players are facing the same issues, and today I'll walk you through proven fixes step by step. Stay with me till the end, because I'll also share bonus tweaks that most guides don't even mention, and they can boost both stability and performance. Here's how to fix them. 1. Check minimum requirements. Before we dive into fixes, make sure your PC meets the minimum system requirements. If your GPU or CPU is below the baseline, no tweak will magically fix it. You'll need to upgrade or use extreme optimization. Check the official requirements on Steam or Epic first. 2. Force windowed or borderless mode. If resolution mismatch is the problem. Steam. Properties launch options type windowed, no border. Epic. Settings additional command line arguments type the same. This forces the game to launch in a safe display mode. Force DirectX 11 mode. If your GPU doesn't fully handle DX12, force DX11 by adding DX11 to launch options. 3. Reset config and save files. Go to saved backslash config. Delete or rename the config file. The game will recreate it with default settings. 4. Update and optimize drivers the right way. Go to your GPU manufacturer's website, NVIDIA, AMD, or Intel, and download the latest game ready or adrenaline driver, not the one from Windows Update. After installing, open your GPU control panel and make these changes. NVIDIA, set power management mode to prefer maximum performance. AMD, enable Radeon chill only if you have overheating issues, otherwise keep it off. Intel Arc, turn on threaded optimization and set scaling to performance. This ensures your GPU isn't throttling in the middle of combat. 5. Fix CPU bottlenecks with background task cleanup. Your CPU is the hidden culprit behind stutters. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus ESC to open Task Manager Startup tab disable anything you don't need, like Discord, OneDrive, or updater apps. Then, in the Processes tab, sort by CPU usage and end background hogs like Chrome, or any software you're not actively using while gaming. 6. Enable Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. Let's use Windows to give your GPU a little more freedom. Go to Windows Settings System Display Graphics Default Graphics Settings and turn on Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. Reboot your PC. It reduces frame pacing issues and improves 1% lows. 7. Enable Virtual Memory Boost Page File. Press Windows plus R type SYSTM.CPL Enter. Go to Advanced Tab Settings under Performance. Go to Advanced Tab again click Change under Virtual Memory. Uncheck Automatically Manage. Select your C drive, choose custom size. Initial size, 4096. Maximum size, 8192. Apply and reboot. This helps your system recover from memory overflows caused by loading zones or online syncing. 8. Process Lasso Trick. Here's the one that surprises most people, Process Lasso. It's a free tool that lets you prioritize the game over everything else. Install it, then in Process Lasso, Right-click the game CPU Priority Always High and CPU Affinity Enable Performance Mode. This gives the game maximum CPU attention and can easily net you 10 to 20 more FPS on weak CPUs. 9. Power Plan Upgrade In Windows Power Options, set your power plan to ultimate performance. If you don't see it, open Command Prompt as Admin and type. Power duplicate scheme e 942025 da 4 48 da 00031474 b 61 Then select it in the control panel. 10. Disk and shader cache cleanup. Finally, clean up your system. Run disk cleanup, check DirectX shader cache, and remove it. Next time you launch the game, it will rebuild a clean shader cache, which often fixes micro stutters. 11. GPU drivers or rollback if necessary. Open Device Manager, then expand Display Adapters. Right-click on your graphics card and select Properties. Go to the Driver tab. If your crash started happening after a recent update, click Rollback Driver. If the Rollback option is not available, visit the official website of your graphics card manufacturer and download the latest stable driver manually. After updating or rolling back your driver, restart your computer and launch the game again. 12. Check for Windows Updates. Open Settings Windows Update. Install all optional updates, especially related to security and UEFI slash TPM modules. Feature updates often include secure boot support for newer games, run system file checker, SFC, and DISM repair. Open command prompt, admin, and run. SFC slash scan now. 
After completion run, DSM slash online slash cleanup image slash restore health. 13. Reinstall the game. If all else fails, do a clean uninstall and reinstall. Also delete leftover folders and documents backslash my games and the installation directory before reinstalling. 14. Reinstall DirectX and Visual C++ runtimes. Download the DirectX runtime web installer from Microsoft. Also install both x86 and x64 versions of Visual C++ redistributables 2013 to 2022. If already installed, choose repair. Restart your PC after installing. 15. Verify game files. Steam. Right-click the game view in Library Properties Installed Files Verify Integrity. Microsoft Store slash Xbox app. Right-click the Game Manage Files Verify and Repair. This will replace any corrupted authentication-related files. And that's it. You now have a complete step-by-step -step guide to fixing crashes and startup errors in Arena Breakout. Infinite. If this video helped you, hit that like button, it really supports the channel. Drop a comment telling me which fix worked for you, so others can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe for more gaming fixes, performance boosts, and walkthroughs. And I'll see you in the next guide. Until then, stay in the fight and keep your game running smooth.